Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about stock splits and how you don't actually have to wait on a stock split to actually split a stock. And so over the past two years, there have been many big names who have had stock splits. And some of the big name companies who have split their stock over the past couple of years include Apple, Tesla, uh, Google, Amazon, Shopify, Nvidia, and TradeDesk. And actually recently, Tesla announced that they're gonna have their second split within the past two years, and that should be coming up sometime in August of 2022. They haven't announced what the split will be or the exact date. And even NASDAQ, the actual company, you know, not the ETF or the index fund, but the actual company NASDAQ, as well as Restoration Hardware are also planning to do a stock split soon. And typically when a company decides to split their stock, uh, they're doing this to show not only that they're confident that their company is gonna do well over the near term, usually in the next couple of years, they expect that the, the price of their stock is gonna grow something significant, but they also want to entice more retail investors to buy because the lower the, the price of a stock is, the more likely that the average retail investor, you know, individual investors like you and I, are likely to actually put their money into the stock. Because if the average person sees a stock as $1,000, they're probably not gonna invest into it. Many people don't even have $1,000 to invest in one individual stock, especially if you can only get one share. And you know, people want to have more than one share. There are different strategies that you can use once you have more than 100 shares of an individual stock, even though most people won't use those strategies or probably don't even trade options to take advantage of those strategies. But just the thought of having more than one share, having tens of shares or hundreds of shares is what most people want to do. And so it's more of a psychological barrier than anything else. And so because of that stock split, this now causes more people to come in. More people want to actually buy a stock that's $100 versus a stock that's $1,000. And you get more people to buy. Of course, that helps support the, the price of the stock to make it actually rise higher because now more people can, quote unquote, afford to purchase that stock. But what you can actually do instead of waiting on a stock split to get a stock for a lower price, you can actually buy partial shares of a stock or fractional shares of a stock to create your own stock split and own a company before they actually do a stock split. And so just as an example, I wanted to use Amazon as an example of how, you know, waiting for a company to split their stock would actually cause you to miss out on a lot of gains. And so an example I'm gonna use is Amazon stock and I have their chart up here. Currently you see the post split price for Amazon. Oh, uh, recently their stock price was as high as $2,440, but due to their 20 to one split, on the day of the actual split, it dropped down to $122 per share because they did a 20 to one split. And so the price that it was pre-split, you divide that by 20 and you multiply the number of shares that you own in that stock by 20. So if you only own one share of stock on the day that it split, you would now own 20 shares of Amazon. And instead of it being $2,440 per share, it then turned into $122 per share. And so of course, if someone wanted to buy Amazon, it's a lot easier to buy a share when it's $122 versus when it's $2,440. But also you can buy more shares. And so although at the end of the day, it doesn't really change what you own, because if you own one share at $2,440, you own $2,440 worth of Amazon stock. If you own 20 shares of Amazon at $122, you still only have $2,440 worth of Amazon stock. And so when a stock splits, it doesn't actually change how much you own or how much money you've gained. It only shows how it appears in your account. So the share price changes, it goes down, and the number of shares that you own goes up, but your total value has not changed at all other than the general fluctuations from minute to minute when the stock market is open. And so if you were a person that the only way you're gonna buy Amazon stock is if it was under $200, let's say you wanted to buy one share every week or every month, but you can only do it if it's $200 or less, then you wouldn't be able to get an Amazon if you had to buy a whole share. But it's great that you don't actually have to buy a whole share. You can invest using a investment app or investment company that allows you to buy fractional shares. And those are the companies that I'm gonna talk about today. And so with an investment app that allows you to invest fractional shares, some of them you can invest as little as $1, as little as $5, maybe the minimum is $25. But the main point is that you don't have to buy a whole share of whichever company is available in their app. That way you can get invested today. 
You can invest on a regular schedule on a specific dollar amount that you want instead of investing where you have to buy a whole share. So even if a stock was $5, you could put $100 toward that stock instead of having to buy 20 shares every week. As the price changes, you would have to buy or you would have to put more money in order to buy 20 whole shares. Or you can just put a very specific dollar amount and you can set it and forget it for every week, every month, or however often you would want to put money into that account. And so one of my personal favorite apps to use for this is M1 Finance. With M1 Finance, you can actually invest in multiple stocks at the same time on an automated schedule if you so choose. And you can invest in all of them at once and you don't have to buy or make individual tra transactions. Let's say if you wanted to invest in all of the companies that recently had a stock split. So let's say you wanna invest in Amazon, you wanna invest in Google, Shopify, Nvidia. No matter how many companies, you can do up to 100 different companies all at the same time within the M1 Finance app. And I'll go through the whole list of the companies that you can invest in. You'll see them on the screen here. You can invest with M1 Finance, as I mentioned. Uh, Robinhood is another company that allows you to invest in fractional shares with a minimum of $1 per stock. And you can set up daily, weekly, or bi-weekly investments into that specific company that you choose. SoFi Invest also allows you to invest fractional shares, a minimum of $1 per stock. Uh, Fidelity allows you to invest in specific mutual funds and ETFs with fractional shares. Now you can do individual stocks as well, but you can't automate those purchases when you're putting a fraction, when you're buying fractional shares of an individual stock, you can only do automatic purchases with their ETFs or their mutual funds. Uh, Charles Schwab allows you to invest $5 per individual stock. Webull allows you to invest $5 minimum per individual stock. Uh, Domain Money, which is a new investment app that I learned about recently, and I'll do a video review of that company soon. They allow you to invest $5, and you can do auto buys as well into individual stocks as well as crypto. And Public is another company that allows you to do $1 minimum per stock that you invest in. And so there may be a few other stock apps out there as well that allow you to invest in fractional shares. Those are the ones that I am most familiar with and many of them which I've already done individual reviews on. And so you can actually check out my playlist. I have a playlist of individual investment apps that I've done reviews on, and I give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use those investment apps. I'll have a link in the description to those specific playlists, as well as to referral links to the investment apps that I mentioned in this video that you can check out. Many of them have maybe a free stock that you receive or maybe a, some type of bonus when you use someone's referral link to get started with that investment app. And so the next time you hear about a company that's gonna do a stock split, instead of waiting for that company to actually split their stock, as soon as they announce it, you can actually get started with investing with that company by using an investment app that allows you to invest fractional shares in that company. Whether it's a minimum of $1, a minimum of $5, whatever that minimum is, you can get invested into it before they actually split the stock and essentially split the stock yourself by investing via fractional shares. All right, so thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope this was very helpful to let you know that you don't have to wait for a stock split and you can invest in almost any company that you want at almost any dollar amount that you want if you have the right investment app. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.